Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I am going to tell you how I started an embroidery business from nothing and what I'm doing now. How did I get into embroidery in the first place? Um, basically back in December of 2022, my husband was in need of more work uniforms for our cleaning business. We've been getting them screen printed or like we went somewhere in town and they had it done and they were totally becoming cracked and ugly. We've been wanting to get things embroidered because we know that they would last longer. For his Christmas present, I ordered from Corporate Casuals three, three yellow business work uniform polo things. They came out well, but they were $131 for three shirts. And I was kind of thinking at the time, like, this is extremely expensive for something that we're going to go through and probably he's probably going to get dirty because, I mean, he's a cleaning business, so he, he gets dirty all the time. Like, he makes things clean, but he gets his shirts dirty. That's how he cleans everything. Just kidding. So I was like, that's just not going to work. Like, that's really expensive. So I started looking into embroidery machines from there to see if it would be worth it to get the machine and make our own uniforms. What it came down to was math and it made more sense to invest in a machine one time than to keep ordering shirts, whether they were screen printed or embroidered, it was just not worth it. Especially if we get another employee or something down the line, we'd be going through a lot of uniforms. We basically decided to invest in a machine. So we got the machine and I made a YouTube video about getting the machine. We went out of town, picked it up, and it was $800. New though, it would be, it would have been like 1500. So I got a used machine. It was hardly used. It was still in the box and it came with multiple different hoop attachments, some thread and some stabilizer. So I was kind of set just by getting that. And the lady was really nice. Um, so you can watch that video of me getting the machine and then embroidering my first shirt. From there, I started making some mama sweatshirts and you might've seen in my last videos of me wearing those. I made some of those because I actually wanted one of those for Christmas. I wanted an embroidered mama sweatshirt across the chest. And so I just made those myself. I just went to Hobby Lobby, picked up Gildan's, the sweatshirt material that's like the most popular, picked up a few of those, practiced, and then I took pictures of them and I posted them on Facebook because at the time it was still before Christmas. So I posted it as like a last minute gift idea thing um, to see if anybody would want to order because at this time we had $800 in this machine and we weren't really using it for uniforms. And so I was like, maybe I can get people to order something right now and I can just kind of practice and make some money off of it and kind of pay off that machine. So I got one order in December and it was $70. She ordered two sweatshirts and I'll put a clip in what that looked like. Um, they came out well, I was happy with them. And I just kind of used that as like momentum to keep posting on Facebook and then I created an Instagram account in January which was last month at this point. I've just been going from there just making things, posting them. I've kind of gone away from the mama sweatshirts. I made some for myself and for other people as a gift but they weren't really selling so if something's not selling I'm not gonna keep trying to sell it to people. So I ended up getting some orders through Instagram so from Instagram, I got three sweatshirts that were ordered from a friend and they said bamboozled on it. So I'll show you what those look like. In January, I did those and I also did three business logo sweatshirts. And I did a dog portrait and I did a few other just like some phrases that some people wanted. And I just kind of took this time to figure out my pricing structure, how I would accept payment, and then just practicing in general with stabilizer and different materials. And I had a few stressful moments. I haven't done everything perfectly. I messed up a few times and had to repurchase some materials. Overall, I've been really happy with how things have been turning out. And also people 
have been happy with things. So I've basically every week since January, I've been getting multiple orders through Instagram and I've just been working on those and trying to get them done that week or the next week. It's just been kind of consistent. That was January. I got a lot of different things done. I was trying out a lot of different types of embroidery designs. Now in February, I've been doing some Valentine's Day sweatshirts. So I have like three orders for those right now. The most exciting thing is I'm getting some more people messaging me on Instagram that are businesses and they're looking to do multiple different sweatshirts. One order, but it's a big one. I don't know how to say that. Right now I'm talking to somebody in my town and she owns a graphic design company and she makes logos for people and does their marketing, I think. She's in the process of ordering five sweatshirts with the same design. They're all gonna be different sweatshirt colors and different thread colors. She's ordering five and then we're working on another design that she's wanting to do because she designs it all herself and then I just get it digitized and then stitch it out on the colors that she wants. After she pays for that, I will have made one over $1,000 in just a month and like a week and a half of embroidering, just casually using Instagram as like my marketing platform. I'm really happy with that. Like we've surpassed our amount that it costs to buy the machine and I'm getting more people just messaging me randomly. It's just been kind of a fun little journey. And if this is something that you have been wanting to do, it is quite a bit of money to put into something if you're not sure you want to do it. You understand that that is hard. Basically it worked out for us because we knew we'd be spending that money anyway long term on the uniforms. So it's been kind of neat to have that ability that I can make uniforms whenever we want for really cheap, but also make money by selling things for other people, making uniforms for other people's businesses. I'm still extremely small. I still don't have any idea what I'm doing really, but I was able to make that money. And I mean, a thousand dollars is before taxes and the cost from materials and everything, but it's still a decent amount of money even with all those other components taken out. And it's money that I didn't have a month and a half ago. It's been really nice and I'm gonna keep doing it. Right now, I, like I said, I have those um, Valentine's Day orders to do. I have three of those and then I have one sweatshirt design that I'm waiting for the okay to stitch out about getting lost in a bookstore or something. The embroidery machine's just literally on my dining table and I just work when I feel like it and I give people a long enough time frame so that I can, you know, be busy doing other things some days and then just work on a few orders one day and I'm not really behind on anything. It's been really nice. So if you want to see more embroidery content, let me know because it's kind of what I do now and I I'm happy to film things. It's fun to see the progression of things. And so let me know if you want to see more of those little vlogs. Yeah, thanks for watching. This has been fun to just kind of update you about all these things and to see where my business has taken me. If you watched, I think it was my last video, but my goal was to make $1,000 in 2023. And then I upped that goal. So I made that goal $15,000. So if you want me to keep tabs on everything and let YouTube know what I'm doing. That'd be fun. I can do that. I'm 1 15th of the way there. I think that's it. Thank you for watching. If you'd like, you can subscribe, you can comment, you can like, you can share, you can do all those things. I really appreciate it. And thank you for sticking around and coming along and watching me talk for a few minutes. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll just see you in the next one. And goodbye. Thank you.